Hey, interwebs, it's Jackie K. Last time on our online competition adventures, I managed to snag a victory after quite the losing streak, but honestly, it came a bit less to combat and more towards tactical stall than I may have liked. So maybe we'll have something different this time around. Maybe we'll have a battle that doesn't require me to outlive long enough for Toxic to kill the opponent. Alright. Mm, drop out, drop out, drop out. Mm. I don't want to bring Umbreon, but I feel like I have to bring it just for the Porygon 2, because it's the best thing I have to counteract it. Let me queue, might be able to do work. Well, let me get Umbreon here before I forget, because I don't see my other Pokemon really doing it anything better. So who do I want for that last slot? I like that someone bulky, but I don't really have that choice. Mimikyu, I choose you. Alright, let's see how this goes. I'm not building in really huge confidence. I feel like I could have better Pokemon to fight this team. But I've been locked out of that opportunity a long time ago. Thank you very much, though, Elvis. Okay, let's see if my lead at least is good. We got Mimikyu and Harmiana. Okay, as long as it doesn't for some reason go for Shadow Sneak. I got way too lucky in that last match. I can't afford just a Bolt Switch. Predicting not to have that issue. I'm just gonna go for Scold. I mean, I really, really just want a Bolt Switch. But that Mimikyu could have a Shadow Sneak. And I saw how much a Shadow... Well, that was with a Z Splash, but still. Ugh. Just realized I'm... You know what? I'm staying in. Psychic the Harmiana. I don't really got anything that's good to sack off. You know what? I should have swapped. Dang it. That's, this is what Harmionas do, and yet I didn't see that coming. Can I get the burn? Because that's a big reason I wanted to go for the skull. It doesn't look like I got the burn. What? Trick Room Mimikyu? What the hustle is this madness? What am I even witnessing anymore? Okay, my look is still pretty slow, but I definitely want to get Mimikyu out of here. Ugh. That Harmion has guts. That's because they had a. But I'm gonna burn. Confuse you. Let's get Umbreon into the picture. I honestly don't know what Umbreon's gonna do. But. Trick Room kinda makes me. Think. Oh no, oh no. Oh man. I just don't got a good. I just don't got a good Pokemon for this team. I only swapped the Umbreon to resist the attack, and it can just go for a play rough next turn. I just know that I'm going to be faster, but I don't think Umbreon can really even do anything to stop this Mimikyu. And that Harmion is going to outspeed me and close combat me to death. Unless it hurts itself in confusion. I mean, that's the reason I went for what I did. Oh god, what do I got for Pokemon? Yeah, I got Raichu. And Mimikyu in the back. Do I go into Mimikyu predict and just No, my Mimikyu's really speed oriented, so it won't be able to do anything in the trick room. But my right is pretty much useless because of speed. I don't need timer, timer, timer. But so... 
This can only go wrong, but let's go for it. I just gotta make sure I taunt the Mimikyu. That sounds horrible to say, considering the situation. But if I taunt the Mimikyu, it can get in our trick room off. And that might work out to my favor. I really do feel like I'm making a mistake here, but I just can't, couldn't think of anything better to do under the time pressure. What the heck did it even have? What? What is this Mimikyu? Okay, I am in a bad spot. I'm definitely not outspeeding the Trompa, but I'm still going to go for this. Um, payback is neutral. Am I better off poisoning the Trompa or the Mimikyu, though? I'm going first. Dang it, dang it. I'm gonna do that just because I... Oh, you know, I... Dang it! I should have done... I should have gone for play rough on the... No, because the drop a, a huge fret. Yeah, I definitely should have gone for Moonlight. I mean... This, <laughs> yes. Lots of learning today. Let's... I mean, we'll see how much my play rough does. We'll have to go on that. Ooh, man. Mimikyu pulling it through. Not even enough to take out the stupid... Oh my god, all I did was put it in the Berserk range. Oh yeah, I have Shadow Sneak. This is not really the way I wanted my Mimikyu to go, but... At least this way I can... At least this way it doesn't go down in vain. Okay. Oh, that's right, my... I'm so stupid that Mimikyu had a weird item that made the taunt go away. So it's just gonna get to use Trick Room next turn. Ugh. He's still gonna... Shoot, he's got the Hermione in the back, so he can just fake out whatever he pleases. I mean, props to this team design. I gotta give it that. I never expected this find a trick room Mimikyu. Oh no! Why? This is this is doubles. Why did I not see protect on the Drampa? Yeah, at least I'm gonna get the moonlight off. I don't think that's really gonna matter. I can just shadow claw my Mimikyu. Lose it. But you know. Trick Room's gonna run out this turn. I can still save this. Well, I can stop the Trick Room from coming at least. I just don't have confidence that my Volt Switch will be enough. With the range I'm at, it's gotta be enough. I'm just gonna pee back. Grandpa slow was faster than me before, so it's gonna be slower than me now. Mm. I mean, it feels like a waste, but I'm just gonna go for a moonlight. I can't really think of things. I just I'm really hoping that did not even do close to the damage I needed it to. And now I have to go into my little, like, I don't know why I thought that Bolt Switch would do a lot more. I didn't think of Mimikyu really being bulky. I just pretty much decided to sack off my Milik instead of my Raichu, which I don't know is a great play. I was expecting, to be honest though, I was expecting the Trip Groom again, so I do have that going for me. Honestly, I wish he would have taken that a little bit better on Brian. Okay. Sorry, I just need to think about this. Do I take out the drama or the... 
I definitely gotta see if my Z move. Ah, oh, shoot, the Hermion's still in the back. Mm. Yeah, I just. No, I have to take out the Mimikyu. Otherwise, Raichu is gone. Done. Never again. I I think I lost this one. But I do got a smimit of hope. I kinda want the Drampa to go after my Umbreon somehow thinking that I would get a chance. Yes! No, oh, this a that attacks both Pokemon and it take out <sighs> And you still got the hurry yeah, it's GG. Umbreon cannot take on the Harmion, especially when they can't poison it. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna save everyone the time and forfeit myself. There's no possibility of getting out of that. Let's see if I can get another one in the next 20 minutes or so, though. Okay, so I got seven battles in five battles a week is twenty, or five battles a day for each day of the competition. I'm just doing a math of how many battles need to get done. Oh boy, like I need to insult on injury. I feel like I'm definitely going so low that I'm just getting into a non-competitive battle because there is no rhyme or reason behind that item assortment. I mean, I guess there's no excuse not to win if that's going to be my mindset. But I really want to be challenged if that makes any sense. We'll just have to see how it goes. Guard jump coming out right away. Because of the way things are, I am not going to over predict. I'm going to, for the Z. Wait a minute, what's my team? I might need that Z power for later. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna play it safe. Go for Ice Beam. Go for Flare Blitz. I'm. I, something in my gut tells me I'm gonna regret not going for the Isaiah Z, but. In this way, I have my Z move in the, my back pocket if I need it later. And I do feel better not wasting it when I don't need to use it. Hmm. You guys remember the red health music? Oh, really? Where did my battle animations go? I know I have them off, but they were on for all. Wait, did he just attack Scarchomp to get a beast boost? What kind of madness is this? Uh, that's not even... I see what you're going for, but that's not even smart because you just lost half your team. That strategy did not pay off, and I can't think of a situation that would. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really glad I didn't go for my Z move because that would have uh, that meant I would have completely wasted it otherwise. 
Wow. Okay, let's just not over predict. Not switch out just so I have just so I have the Pokemon I need to take on that Lucario later on. What is wrong with this guy? Wait. Is he, dude, is he intentionally losing? Is it my f Is he... I feel like if I say... There's no way to say this without really being egotistical, but is he, she losing intentionally? Just... No, because there, you could just run away from battles. She's not losing just to get the battle over, done and over with. Is she? Hey, keeps attacking his partner. I want to say I don't have any idea what's going on, but at the same time, it's like... I think I know what's going on, and that makes me feel worse than just losing. Well, at least we're one step closer to getting back to the 15,000 range. Well, that was a short battle for obvious reasons. So I, we got no excuse not to do another one. Really wasted that Tapu beam on that, though. You know what? I was going to pull up the Tapu Pim again, but I think this is even better. Weird, that one single battle that I did not deserve the win bumped me back up to a 1500 rating. <laughs> what is even this competition? Right when I gave up and assumed that we weren't gonna, that we're just gonna get DC, we actually found someone. Mm. I'm feeling pretty good about Raichu here. Who would be good support for Raichu? No, my mm. only like if only for that dragon, to, you know, for dragon in the back. Actually, I think we want Mimikyu out in the front where it can actually shine. Mm. Okay, I'm not. I'm going into this battle without any of my walls. I hope I don't regret it because I realized that last battle somehow resetted me back to 1500.
Let's get to it. Propeller is coming to lead, so rain is inevitable. I'm kind of glad I led with the team with the two that I did. But I feel like there's got to be something up her sleeve having Mega Gross partnered up with Propeller. Still, I think Volt Switching is my best option. If the Propeller wants to stay in, it's going to take damage. If it wants to come out, I will get a Switch Initiative. And I'm going to just sort of dance up. That's not over predictive. So, Feel there's way too many times that this only hurt me. Oh, and I only wasn't able to take it out because of the focus sash. I'm not positive if that's too great, but yeah, I'm not seeing out my flurry on this with that propeller still on the field. Maybe my grass will attack the right shoe, and I'll have my. This guy still, that would be a great case scenario. Nah, it's just gonna go. <laughs> I know why I was partnered up with Propeller now. That could have gone a lot worse if I'm gonna be honest. Alright. Ah, Tailwind, that's what's up with that Propeller. Now, this is, I think. This makes me wish I had Shadow Claw. And not just Shadow Sneak, but we can probably make this work out. That propeller is slow, and I think it'll still be slow even after attacking. Let me see if I can just check. I probably don't got time to do this. It's not even going to tell me. I only got 23 seconds. Go in my gut. Take out the propeller. Um... Can I live another Earthquake? I don't think I have enough power to take out the Metagross. So I'm gonna have to. Oh no, it has a fucker bullet punch. What? Of course it does, that's what they do. And they gang up on it too, just to sure in case something can go wrong. Ugh, I should have gone for the Shadow Sneak. I I can't believe I forgot about Bullet Punch. I wasn't confident that I'd be able to take it out. I mean, I got the Beast Boost, but honestly, I'm not sure if that's really going to help me out now. Okay, so I know Earthquake is in its Minus Grass Potential. Rain is still an issue. Ugh. If, I don't think Tailwind's going to make it out. Well, the propeller got a lot faster. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go right into my Flareon, despite how bad the situation looks. Oh, great. And Mimikyu is my check to this Gudra. And it's gone. Right, I think... I'm just gonna do a solid and... I'm just gonna do a solid and... Go for the Metagross and protect with Flareon because otherwise I am dying to that Earthquake. And we'll see how the turn goes. Oh wow, I went for Zen's Headbutt. Because it's going for the Flamethrower. Of course it is. I'm not even sure that crit matter because the rain is a factor. I'm sure I'm quite weak, but still. Okay, so... Yeah, I didn't even get a hit off on it, didn't I? Nope. Alright. So, if I go for my Z-move, I can paralyze a Gudra. Hmm... Grass Knot, or... But do I want to paralyze to... I'm definitely going for my Z-move, it's just a matter of who. Who is the... That Magna Grass with Earthquake is a bigger threat, I... Oh no, because... I might be able to take it out with Flareon. 
that's a huge maybe. It's basically all or nothing at this point. And with it being a with it probably being good in the defenses, if I recall correctly. This is Flurry I couldn't even take a Zen head, but it's over. It's all over. I may survive, but that all I'm doing is wasting time with this animation because there's no way I'm taking out the rest of this team with just my right shoe. Do 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 I, can't, I didn't even realize Gudra could get hydration. That's how long it's been since I last fought one. That Z move was 110% wasted. Not that it would have mattered if I attacked the Venagross instead. Let's just get this over with. Did I really go for Bolt Switch instead of Thunderbolt? Like, it's, it doesn't really matter at this point now, does it? Because I'm going down to that Zen head, but. Game, set, and match. <laughs> well, that does it for this video for sure. We've just been having the highs and lows lately in my middle spot excursion for the online competition. I swear I battled better. I, I'm going to have to probably put a couple battles outside of this because this is just... My team is really breaking it and I know that I can do better than what I've been doing throughout this compilation of videos. Kinda sucks when you're stuck with one team throughout the entire thing and you realize that so many ways you can improve it in the middle of battles. Anywho, I mean, I... This is a once in a lifetime chance. When this competition is over this weekend, it's over, so I really want to troop through and it might all so even if it's gonna be bad I just don't want to pass it up because otherwise the opportunity is gonna go to waste to have those battles is my thinking still that just might mean you guys get more uploads because I will feel really guilty in editing I feel inclined to throw a few extra battles outside of this competition in the mix either way though there's gonna be more battles for sure now see you for them.